Hello friends, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I am going to discuss with you how to create a table using default option. Actually whenever you use the default option, you if you don't want to insert any record in the defo default option column, so it will be insert automatically values in that column. It is the actually effect of the default keyword. So let's see how to use it. Uh, this is the naming rule to create a, any table. Actually, your table must begin with a letter. Uh, your table name start with the specific letter, which is you wanted to give, and uh, must be one to thirty character long, and must contain only a to z small capital and 0 to 9 digits underscore also is in that your name and uh, you can give the dollar sign and hash sign also and must duplicate the name of another object owned by the same user actually uh, suppose you have created a table like EMP and you want to create again same as uh, same name table in your schema means schema means your user okay so you cannot create a same t same name table in your current uh, user so and uh, must not be an oracle server reserve word you cannot use the oracle server reserve word in your table name okay server reserve word like uh, uh, table name is not a table you cannot set the table name set a table and uh, create alter drop these all are the also uh, reserve keyword of the oracle server okay so let's see how to create a table with the default option so friends uh, this is the our sql oracle sql developer tool now i'm going to show you select the star from tab and run this query actually uh, this query show you all the tables which is existing right now in your user okay in your schema so right now we have these four tables bonus depth EMP and cell grade okay so let's see how to create new table in the Scott user right now I'm uh, login with the Scott user so uh, create table what is your table name like I'm giving I'm giving here TP font right and on open the parenthesis now right here your column first column name suppose I'm giving here ID column and number is the data type and length is 5 and second column is name and data type is watcher 2 length is 10 and uh, now I'm giving here a higher date column higher date and data type is also is date and I'm giving here a default keyword default so if you want if you s remaining the empty this column right and uh, you want that uh, uh, current date your uh, current date uh, automatically insert in your higher date column so you can give here sys date okay so parenthesis close car and then uh, run it so you can see the message table tb1 is created okay so let's see now I'm going to insert some record in that table insert into tp1 values suppose I'm going to insert in id column and name column right and values I'm giving here id 1 and name is Amit more column one more I did two and name is Vikram ID is three name is Shripal 
so now I'm going to run these all our commands so you can see all four commands is running and now I'm going to show you how to check the record of that table select it star from db1 so you can see here id column value and name column value and also here is a hard date also available as hard date is a current date right now with what is the today date actually so i'm giving here sys date sys date always represent the today date current date present the current date okay so i'm giving here only those column where i want to insert some record but i don't want to insert the hard at column values i want that it is uh, filled automatically because i'm giving here default option so so friends this is the uh, default uh, option uh, option keyword uh, how to create a table with the default option it is the uh, good uh, topic i thought it is you found that video is very informative for your kind information if you want to get my new video in your mailbox so subscribe my channel and uh, like my video and if you want that uh, uh, you giving any suggestion to me so please write in the comment box and you can send me any mail thank you for watching my video thank you